Hello. Uh, my name is Kat Rogers, or I go by Abri, and I still am working through art block. I did a video recently about drawing in the middle of the night and just making a horned figure, and I found that that helped a lot. It definitely gave me a little more enthusiasm and excitement, and I received a very, very sweet comment uh, on my YouTube channel that made me feel really nice, and it's, it's given me life, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, so when I had some free time uh, late last night, I decided to take some time to myself and continue on trying to access my creativity in a different way and see if I can inspire myself for more days to come. And that's exactly what I did. So similarly to my last video, I decided to work in that negative, uh, work from dark to light again. That seemed to trip my brain up in a way, think about things in a different way. It felt new and different since so much of what I do ends up uh, like traditional sketching from light to dark. And just, just moving it backwards, uh, doing it from a different uh, direction seems to be exciting and different and new and, and gets my brain stirred up in a way that I rather like. So I'm not overly worried about anatomy. I'm not worried about this being perfect. This is just an exploration to see what, what could happen. And while I am sketching uh, to get some vague sense of proportions kind of laid out, I'm not, I'm not worried about it being accurate or perfect or, or just right. Uh, this is definitely just a, a playful space, and I'm excited to just see what happens. So my goal in this was to also build this image in a way that, while I'm comfortable using the lasso tool to like block out areas and, and get, you know, nice gradients and stuff rapidly, I wanted to try and approach making this image with shapes first, which blends my uh, Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Photoshop mindset together. When I work in Illustrator, for instance, it is layering shapes and building shapes and very design forward. And I wanted to take some of that and see what happened if I applied it in a more illustrative way as far as traditional illustration. Um, and I think what I end up with is something that's very different than what I normally paint with. It's definitely a different style altogether. But there's something to it that I found that I liked. And that building up with shapes makes a result that is unique and moody. And I don't know, I, I feel like I want to explore more of that, refine it. Because it's definitely raw. You'll, you'll see that it is not uh, the most accurate. So right here I'm starting with my very first shapes. Sort of figuring out, imagining where the lighting might be coming from. Uh, I've not set where the light is coming from at all. You'll you'll see things get a little kooky as uh, as the image goes, but just trying to imagine the being as shapes, uh, not necessarily form as lines. Even though I put lines down, like I'm, I've made them uh, a much lower opacity. They're they're there to guide more than anything. And now I'm trying to view this this figure in their shape and how does light hit those shapes and how does it wrap around? What does it look like? And 
it has this, like I said, it has a very moody vibe to it that I, I think can be very powerful when applied in some different ways. Like it'd be very uh, interesting to maybe use this as a skeleton or a base to do traditional painting over the top of. And in fact, I think when I am doing uh, painting, digital painting in general, I do something very similar where I block in my shadows, my brightest, you know, my bright points and my dark points. But this, this process felt more like uncovering the three-dimensional shape. Like I found that my mind was definitely thinking more in the round. And I had a very strong sense of like as I kept working on this where different parts kind of came in and the areas I wanted to focus or, or bring attention to and I rather liked it it felt inspiring and that that feeling of discovery when when working and developing and finding new ways of doing things. I, I love that feeling. It makes me, it makes me get out of a rut. It helps me break the art block because then there's something new to consider. I think that's why I like learning and growing when it comes to art as often as I do. Like I want to keep learning. I don't want to stop because that enthusiasm that I often need to kind of help me through the rough days like I need that. I need it. I need to cultivate it. I need to grow it. I want it to be very present. And it can be if I feed it. And processes like this help feed it. I will also troll through YouTube and find other artists and their methods and their techniques and uh, some of their suggestions. And sometimes I lock myself in my office and I just see what happens, which is what happened here. I know, like, looking back on this now, the perspective is definitely something that, while I enjoy the perspective, uh, I do want to fix some of the anatomy. Um... I do find it difficult in the areas, and it's it's part of the process. Like I'm not judging myself for it, but I, I see it now, and that's often the case with like anything I work on. Is I get the initial bits down, and I walk away on purpose, so I can come back to it with fresh eyes, and and see the areas that I would like to tweak, um, and and push, but. Drawing extreme perspectives is, is always fun and challenging. <laughs> but I like it because you get to push and pull the anatomy in interesting ways. Uh, I will often, when I'm doing my professional work, very deeply reference angles and body types and lighting and like how I want to how to position that and look at that. And I do this thing where I'll pull all my reference up and I will soak it in, I'll stare at it for a good 10 or 15 minutes, uh, either on a uh, Pinterest board or I'll just comb the internet and then pile everything into a page on my document and just stare. And my hope is that my brain is picking up on the position, the lighting, the textures, all the little bits and pieces of the inspiration board that I've created for myself that that gets synthesized into my mind and then I hide the layer or close that file and begin the piece because I don't want to tempt myself to directly copy anything. I want my brain to, you know, homogenize it into something new. So I'm adding the ingredients into the pot of my mind and allowing it to cook and simmer and you know, combine these flavors, these shapes and textures and anatomy and perspective, and on the other side, have something that's very unique through the lens of me. And I really like doing that. And, it, and again, it helps me not want to 
directly copy something. It also helps me avoid that that streak of perfection that I had to fight against and rail against. Uh, I, this is this is such a strange when I when I turn the the dark background off and you can see exactly what's going on. <laughs> it looks very strange. But it's kind of cool. I mean, you can you can see how I've built things. It's you know, the lines are are not important. They're actually turned off at this point. There's no more sketch. It's just shapes. Oh, and this is when I backed my canvas out enough to see that I hadn't actually filled up the whole thing. And that that wasn't the point. I wasn't really trying to. That's easy stuff to to rectify and fix. Similar to my horned figure, I have no idea what this character is up to. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know their name. Um, and this this is the point where we're going to laugh about the lighting. Because, like I said, I just wanted to play. I didn't really care about it being accurate. Uh, I just wanted to see what, what kind of effect this would be. So I'm just now using that light source that I've placed in the hand as a means of, you know, applying this method again in the same piece. How is the light hitting things? Where is it hitting? And it managed to make this like lovely extreme high contrast lighting. <laughs> and then I couldn't help it and had to put a... <laughs> had to apply different lighting effects, lighting layer stuff, so, you know, I, I don't know, I like the little bit of blue that came out of it, it was interesting. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a cheeseburger in the art world, like just throw lighting layers on it and it's fine. Just some blending layers, blending modes. I don't hate it. I also don't really love it, but I think I learned a lot, which is why I love it. <laughs> So, I hope you've enjoyed this strange piece and random meandering ramble again. And I hope you have a lovely day, or night, or evening, whatever time it is. And stay safe out there. Thanks. <laughs>